Compass FM. Well, Debs Taylor Hayhurst is with me, and for those that don't know, uh, Debs Taylor Hayhurst runs a very successful business in North Canterbury called Success Factor. That's her business, but her business is all about helping your business. So, Debs, for those that don't know about you, a very good afternoon, first and foremost. Kia ora, John. Uh, what is Success Factor all about? Well, Success Factor is all about empowering business owners to grow their businesses, and I do that by providing services which are holistic so it's working with business owners of small medium or large businesses new business setups or for somebody with a concept or idea that wants to get it off the ground the holistic program is more around working with the person on a personal level so helping with those personal areas on a professional level but also looking at the operational and the strategic elements so all of those aspects are covered to help the person bring balance into their work and life well having run a business myself I can say that at times your business is in disarray and and I've noticed other businesses also you kind of get this well she'll be right attitude perhaps but if you're really serious about growing your business and making your business a great success it always pays to talk to other people to bounce ideas around and get some structure involved and that's where you come in mm. I would imagine time management is well I know from my personal experience I was hopeless on time management but it's vital isn't it well it is and and I often refer to time management is or a lot of things being under the umbrella of time management because if you haven't if you're not able to manage your time properly then a lot of things will fall over and there are strategies tools and and good practice that you can bring in that can help you manage your time better you know we can't do anything with the past you know we can do something about the future but we absolutely can make the best use of our present and by working with people to help them manage that time better then then they on a personal and a professional level can become more efficient, more effective, more productive. And then that's how you generate more income because you're working smarter, not harder. Exactly. And I would imagine a big part of time management under that umbrella is being able to prioritise. Absolutely. And that's where, you know, when I work with people, it's, it's like, oh, well, everything's important or everything's urgent. And we have to really work out what level of priority things are and defining the that priority and the difference between things that are important and urgent for example things that are important only become urgent because the important things didn't get done when they should now it's become last minute and become urgent and therefore we're up against hard deadlines and now we're on the back foot and so if we work hard at prioritizing and blocking time out to do these priority tasks activities projects then we're more organized you know, we can switch off more at night mm. because we've got our ducks in a row. You're more in control. And, you know, Absolutely. there's nothing worse than a looming deadline that, you know, you're just not going to meet. So uh, you've got to prioritise in order to meet those deadlines. What about streamlining, Debs? Well, I talk a lot about streamlining policies and procedures. And if we have systems in place that help us work more smoothly, then we're going to be more productive. And some people are more naturally organised and some people not. And if we have or develop a system that works for us, for our business, and and even for us personally, as well as professionally, then we feel that we are more in control. I hear people that will say, oh, you know, well, because things get in my calendar and things get booked up and it's almost like the calendar's controlling them or work or business is controlling them. And we need to be in control and manage our time in the way we want. And so by streamlining what we do, and that might be refining what we do, you know, so just working smarter, or it might be that we don't or haven't developed those systems, or we don't know how to. So what I'm able to bring is that independent, non-biased, objective uh, input, if you like, that can ask those questions, you know, why are you working that way? Why do you do this on a Monday when you might do it on a Thursday? What's the best time of day for you? What's the best day of the week for you? When do you feel more productive? And when we start to shuffle things around, then what we're doing is packing more into the day and often in less hours and so when I talk about working smarter not harder this is what I mean it's it's actually working less hours but doing more yep and I I know it's important to set goals yeah it's uh, easier to say than do sometimes though but setting goals is vital well it is and again some people don't and it's like oh yeah well I've got an idea in my head for other people they write it down or they might have the goal in their head but it really needs one to be smart which is specific 
specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time bound. And we need to have it written and we need to have a plan of how that goal is going to be achieved. And if we don't and we don't build that into our day to day activities, then how are we going to achieve it? And so one, it's important to write it down and to make sure that we don't put something out that's a hairy audacious goal that we know right at the very onset we're unlikely to achieve. And one of the benefits of goal setting is that if we have an emotional benefit or an emotional incentive, then we're more than likely to achieve that goal yeah. than yeah. if we don't. So if there's something in it for us, then that is going to be our incentive, our reward, you know, for achieving that goal. Yeah. And if you're under pressure time-wise, Debs, um, it, it doesn't help to be indecisive. You know, don't procrastinate. Yeah, you've got to make decisions, good decisions and run with them. Well, you have. And so one, it's not having a knee-jerk reaction, but to looking at not only what we procrastinate on, but why. And that why is what I ask often and most, because we need to know why we procrastinate. So we need to know what firstly on and then look at why. Then when we find out, find out why we procrastinate, procrastinate, then we can look to find strategies to help us stop doing that, which will help help us streamline, help us achieve the goals, help us prioritise more. Great. Debs Taylor Hayhurst from Success Factor. Debs, anyone listening now who's in business and thinking, gee, I would like Debs to uh, come and help me with my business, how do they get in touch with you? Well, firstly, I offer a one-hour complimentary consultation, but to uh, have a chat or to get in contact, they can ring me on 021 or email me at debs at successfactor.co.nz. And of course, you can always get in touch with us here at Compass FM if you missed any of that uh, contact information and we'll pass uh, that on to you so you can get in touch with Debs Taylor Hayhurst from Success Factor Compass FM. FM.